Hello everyone and welcome back. In this episode I'm gonna add the rest of our um, rotational integration for our um, integrational methods like forward Euler, midpoint method and for the Ranjikuta method. Um, yeah, in the last episode we added our functionality to grab objects and throw them around. And uh, I think I I said that I'm gonna do the joints today. Uh, well, in this episode, I'm gonna do that in the next episode, but um, I'm gonna publish two episodes today. Uh, well, this one and then the next episode is gonna be uh, published on the same day, and this will be about joints. All right, and then um, let's add our code for the forward Euler first. For the rotational part, this is pretty easy. Um, luckily, almost everything is well. Yeah, al almost everything is uh, like exactly the same calculation like we did um, with uh, our forward midpoint and so on. For the forward Euler, for the rotational part, we are going to create a new variable, of course. This will be a rotational acceleration, like in the semi-implicit Euler. I'm gonna scale this one with this dot torque, with the this dot invert inertia. Then we can calculate the angular velocity and add it to our current angular velocity. And we can do this by saying rotational acceleration times the delta time. Um, yeah, and then we can calculate the delta rotation. This is equals to, oh, oh yeah, I made a, I think I made a small mistake here. Um, one moment. Right, yeah. Um, I did uh, basically the thing, the thing for the semi-implicit Euler. Um, of course, forward Euler is a little bit different. We are going to calculate the delta rotation right now. So, delta rotation equals to this dot angular velocity times delta time. Oops, times delta time. There we go. And then we're going to rotate the shape. So this dot rotate with the delta rotation, and then we calculate our um, angular velocity. So this dot angular velocity plus equals rotational acceleration times the delta time. And there we go. That's our forward Euler for the rotational part now. Um, I'm gonna use the forward Euler just to make sure everything works. All right, um, then let's jump to the browser and refresh. And there we go. Still everything works, that's fine. Cool. Then let's implement um, the code for the midpoint method. The midpoint method. Um, yeah, it's a bit more. Um, we have again a rotational acceleration. We calculate this, of course, using the torque accumulator times um, this dot invert mass. Uh, sorry, invert inertia. Oh, a little space there. Um, then we can calculate half of the angular velocity angular velocity is equals to this dot angular velocity plus um, rotational acceleration times the uh, delta time divided by 2 or I'm gonna say times 0 0.5 and that's like the exact the same thing we did with uh, this line here, right there. Um, 
yeah, that's half acceleration. We did this like like this, and we add the velocity. We yeah, we add the calculated velocity to the current velocity, or to the angular velocity. Then we can calculate half of the rotational uh, acceleration. So half um, rotational acceleration. Well, actually, oh, I think I have a small mistake there. Wait. <coughs> um, yeah, so it's right till this line, this, this till these lines, I made a small mistake. Um, but yeah, now we can calculate the beta rotation. And this is half um, angular velocity times the delta time. All right, and then we say this dot shape dot rotate, and we're gonna say delta rotation, and then we will add to the angular velocity the rotational acceleration, and I mean basically we're gonna add the other half of the rotational acceleration, and that's it. Um, then we can. Um, try this one out the midpoint method there we go and then let's go to the browser and check if it's working refresh and there we go that seems right cool all right and then let's jump to the ranji kuta 4 method um, let's jump back to us uh, to our Visual Studio. Um, go to the really really bottom here, and we're gonna basically do the same steps like here, but for the rotational part. Okay. Um, yeah, we again create a new method, and I'm gonna comment that. I say rotational integration, and I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, I'm gonna declare a new method, um, and this is gonna be like this one above here, compute acceleration. This will be compute rotational, rotational acceleration, and yeah, this will be like the same, like this one. I'm just gonna copy that one. Say um, this will be torque. Ah, uh, oops, torque torque with an E, right? Yeah. And then this one will be invert inertia. And I want to multiply these two. So torque times invert inertia. Then um, after this one, we can compute our rotational acceleration. And this is simply compute rotational <laughs> acceleration with this dot torque uh, with our torque accumulator and with this dot invert inertia. All right, then we calculate K1 again. This is rotational acceleration times the delta time. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add a comment here for K12. Then we say uh, we're gonna compute the K2 part. Um, this is really um, the same like this line, except it's the torque. So I'm going to call it temp torque. Temp torque is equal to this dot torque accumulator uh, plus K1 times 0 0.5. Then again, I'm going to compute the rotational acceleration. This is Again, compute acceleration with the temporarily torque and the invert inertia. There we go. And then we can calculate K2. And this is the rotation acceleration oops, times the delta time. All right, and then we can, <laughs> you guessed it, calculate K3. And this time I'm just going to copy this one. 
and say I'm um, gonna remove this let here I'm gonna say k2 this time um yeah this can be all right I need to set it I need to change k2 to k3 there and I think that's everything yes and now I can copy this one for k4 change variable names again and this is k4 then all right and then we can calculate our final um, values the first one will be delta angular velocity and this is again the same thing like here but this time we are going to write um, this one I think I can just copy this one and that's it there you go all right yeah of course I need to change this one to that uh, this one to this one and that's it cool then we can add the calculated delta angular velocity to our current uh, angular velocity and this is just this dot angular velocity plus equals um, delta angular velocity all right and now we can we can calculate our delta rotation and this is this dot angular velocity times the delta time then we can rotate our shape and this is delta rotation there we go and that's our Ranji Kuta four method for our rotational integration all right then let's jump back to our browser and test it out ah and of course I need to use it actually so I'm gonna command this line I'm gonna command this one uh, this one uh, remove these lines and then save back to the browser refresh and there we go it's working awesome all right um, yeah that's it for the integration now we have uh, one two three four full integration uh, methods implemented in our physics engine and all of them are working um, yeah and in the next episode I'm finally gonna add some joints to our physics engine all right um, see you there